Livin' Grand on Grand Lake is made possible in part by The Grand Lake Association is in its 60th year promoting the Grand Lake region in partnership with the Oklahoma Department of Tourism. Located in Grove, the Grand Lake Visitor Center welcomes people from around the country and provides information on where to stay, shop, eat, area services, and activities around Grand Lake. The GLA also sponsors the Pelican Festival in September with crafts, a parade, and a carnival the Grand Lake Boat and Sports Show in March, and the Grand Lake Extravaganza, the world's largest bass tagged event. More information is available at GrandLakeFun.com. And by... The Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. GRDA's low-cost, reliable power touches 75 of 77 counties in Oklahoma. At no cost to taxpayers, GRDA also manages 70,000 surface acres of lakes in the state including Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and the W.R. Hallway Reservoir. Today, GRDA's 500-member workforce continues to produce the same power for progress that has benefited the state for over 75 years. And by... You can experience the excitement. You can experience the fun. You can experience the freedom. Your adventure awaits. And by... There's no need to travel for quality health care. Integris Grove Hospital provides exceptional care close to home. From primary care to specialists like OBGYN, cardiology, orthopedics, urology, ophthalmology, and more. Integris Grove Hospital. Quality care close to home. And by viewers and members like you. Hi, I'm Christy Wallace. And I'm Tad Jones. Welcome to Living Grand on Grand Lake. Today we're going to talk about the Grand River Dam Authority and the Picture and Scripture Amphitheater. So stay tuned, don't go away. If you're looking for a great place to take your family and your kids or a place to take your church group, then Picture in Scripture Amphitheater is the place to go. A beautiful facility that has a great show, The Man Who Ran, that talks about the story of Jonah and the story of Jesus Christ. Here's a little behind the scenes of Picture in Scripture Amphitheater. This is the opening night of our uh, season for The Man Who Ran, the story of Jonah, Jesus, and the great fish. Picture and Scripture Amphitheater opened in 1985 and uh, currently we are celebrating our 27th season. We've had guests from all 50 of the United States and uh, approximately 120 foreign countries. We have several people, we have little kids, big kids, medium kids and the main thing I like about my, my position is you get to meet people and you get to just enjoy visiting. We initially opened in 1985 with the man who ran and ran that for many years, for over 17 years, and then we did the play called The Elijah Factor, ran it for quite a few years, and now we're back to running The Man Who Ran. She has really brought some new changes to it this year, and some really nice uh, choreography of some celebration dances of the different parts of the play and okay tonight um, we open at 6:30 tonight and uh, the evening starts with dinner on the pavilion or open air uh, dining patio and we serve charbroiled hamburgers grilled chicken barbecue and catfish uh, it is awesome. I think it's the best catfish on Grand Lake, and um, I know there are others that would might, you know, contest that, but everyone that eats it loves it. And then after uh, that, uh, 6.30 to 8, at 8 o'clock, we have a, a music, Christian music presentation concert, if you may. And tonight, um, our opening night, we have saxophonist Greg Wynn. He is from Tulsa and just travels all over the place. He's phenomenal. And so we have different artists that will be here each one of the performance nights. And they perform for about 40 minutes. And then the play starts right at dusk. 
The cast that we have is locally, it's from the Grand Lake area. They all love to act and they just love the whole concept of the amphitheater and the message that we share with people. And, and so they just volunteer every summer. They come out and in fact, they even volunteer in the kitchen and helping with what we're doing, you know, feeding people. The, the whole program is uh, just a, a labor of love. I've been the Elijah Factor, the man who ran ever since, pretty well since it started out. Always working, you know, at the front there telling people where to sit and more or less just greeting them and visiting them and, and kind of, you know, spread the word to them is all we do. That's what it's about, entertainment, education, you know, uh, things like that, edification, build people up, and give them hope and encouragement for their life and uh, that they like to be active participants, uh, you know, in the plan that uh, God has for them. So I hope you'll get your friends and family and go to Picture and Scripture Amphitheater. Stay tuned, we have more coming right up. I'm Jennifer Sterling, Program Manager for RSU Public TV. One of the things I love about being part of RSU TV is that it's much more than just a television station, really more like a family. Our viewers are committed to helping us bring the best possible programming to Northeastern Oklahoma. We've introduced a new way to become part of the RSU TV family, the Signal Society. It works like this. Pledge a recurring monthly gift of $10 a month or more right now and you'll become a member. It's automatically deducted from your credit or debit card or bank account until you cancel. It's easy on the budget for people who want to help and we'll be able to spend less time and money fundraising. As our special thanks to you when you join the Signal Society, you'll receive a beautiful RSU TV stadium blanket and etched coffee mug. It's so easy to join and help us keep all those great programs on the air. Just call 1-800-823-7210 or go online to rsu.tv. We appreciate your support. If you've been a member for a while, thank you so much. And if you're new, welcome to the family. Hi, I'm Christy Wallace, coming to you today from this beautiful private home on the shores of Grand Lake on the Honey Creek Branch. And today as my guest, I have Robert Lawson, a community volunteer from Jay, Oklahoma. And I know you're one of the organizers of Huckleberry Festival. And Robert, I am excited to have you, but I also have the star of the show, the huckleberry bush right here with us today. And as you can see, these huckleberries are just about ripe. But tell us what's going on. I know you had a carnival that took place yesterday and today, but you also have some events taking place this weekend. Thank you, Christy, for asking me to, to come here. But uh, yes, this is the 47th annual Huckleberry Festival and uh, tomorrow, July the 4th, uh, we begin the evening with the Huckleberry Pageant, and that's where all the little uh, cuties from K-4 to the 12th grade will enter the pageant, and that goes on to like at 7.30, it's down at the JBR Stadium. Uh, after that event, then we have a, a music show, country and gospel music, and that is uh, starring Wesley Michael Hayes, and uh, he will entertain the audience there up until 9.30 when we have the uh, big, fireworks big fireworks show, show. big Absolutely. time, yeah. So you can get there early, listen to the music, something for everybody, stick around for the fireworks show. Yeah, and there's a carnival going on all of this time too, if you want to send the kids to that. that. That's where my uh, kids will be, Robert. They will be over the go. carnival. That, that's fun time. But uh, then the next morning, big day, the fifth Saturday, uh, we have a 5K and a, a 1K fun run race. These are sanctioned events. They are, uh, there's people comes from everywhere to enter this competition. Oh, you know, uh, competition. I've participated and then supported that event over the years. Of course, in honor of Stan Jones, a well-known community member, and also Caleb Barnwell, a young man from the community, a big loss That's with those, those yes. two men from the community. But again, I know that runners come from all over to participate in this sanctioned event, but also the fun run. So if you're not up to the 5K, you can do a one mile walk or at a slower pace. Yeah, and, and you know that will keep you entertained up until you get to the uh, frog jump. <laughs> well, that, I'm looking forward to the frog jump. That, that, uh, that's well attended and participated mm -hmm. in, too, because all the kids uh, in the area are training their frogs as we speak. So it's BYOF. That's right. Bring your own frog. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, uh-huh. And uh, all, uh, 
there's a, a pie contest. Now we think this started with a Huckleberry pie baking contest. Mm -hmm. It has evolved into uh, any kind of a fruit pie. Okay. okay. And uh, this uh, goes on over at the Historical Society, the Marine mm -hmm. Wa Marie Wallace Museum. Yes, right there and on the courthouse square. Right on the square. That's where most of the, the things goes on between mm -hmm. the uh, between the square and the community center. Gotcha. Uh, at 12 o'clock, we have a what they call Huckleberry Jam. You know, that's not anything to eat. That's where the the men and women come out of the hills with their instruments and their voices all tuned up, and that's a free entertainment beginning at, at 12 noon Excellent. there at the community center. It's a big thing, but uh, before that, 11:15 is the 30th annual Turtle Derby. I love the Turtle Derby. Well, BYOT. On that That's one, bring right. your own turtle. You, That's you right. got it. You got it. So we've uh, got the turtle turtle derby, and then what else is taking place the rest of Saturday? Well, at twelve thirty, you got the goldfish swim. Goldfish swim, battle. okay. And uh, that's out at the savings uh, bank area. Arvest, uh -huh. uh, Carry, and Oki. Now, <laughs> that's a race, okay. as you might imagine. I can, but imagine. it's a, a two people race. All right. One of them's the wheelbarrow. Okay, the I'm other getting a mental it, picture. Is the pusher. Okay. And, and uh, it's it's a race uh, with a fella, you know, that's a wheelbarrow sure, or, sure. or lady. Uh -huh. uh, they make a run around a certain point and back. And a it's, lot you know, of I think that's what I love about the Huckleberry Festival. It's an old-fashioned community festival. We draw people from all over the area. How can we get more information? And it, it's a fun thing. Well, you can uh, call the local chamber office okay. at 918-253-8698 or they're online at uh, www.jchamber.org. Excellent. Well, thank you for joining me today. We appreciate you being here and sharing some of this information, and we hope our viewers will, viewers will check out the Huckleberry Festival this weekend. Thank you for joining us. Tad, you look positively dapper, but you didn't give me the, I didn't get the memo about the vintage clothing change. Well, you know, it is July 4th weekend, and Independence Day is one of my favorite weekends of the year because we're celebrating the founding of our country and well we're going to go through a list of the events but Harbor Village puts on a wonderful July 4th event for all the kids and Thomas Jefferson was six foot two and red hair and had initials TJ and so do I so I play Thomas Jefferson and read a little bit of the Declaration of Independence so I hope everybody will come out to Harbor Village on July 4th. That'll be fun and Ted let's tell the viewers about the rest of the fun and exciting things that are going on in our lake this weekend. Don't miss the City of Grove fireworks taking place on July 3rd at Wolf Creek Park. Enjoy free watermelon, great music, and a spectacular fireworks show. July 3rd, Wolf Creek Park and Grove. Enjoy by boat or land. Transportation will also be provided from the Grove Civic Center. The second annual Bob McSpadden Memorial Fireworks Show, July 3rd from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. in Venita. Come to the Venita High School football field and enjoy live music and a great fireworks show. Also on July 4th, the fireworks extravaganza at Riverview Park in Miami, Oklahoma. Live entertainment will begin at 5. Don't miss the turtle races or the hot dog eating competition. Kids will enjoy lots of other fun games and activities, and the celebration will end with a spectacular fireworks show. The Fort Way Rodeo, June 3rd, 4th, and 5th in Pryor, will be held at the Mays County Fairgrounds and there will be fun acts each night and vendor booths will be open. Concessions will be available. For more information, call 918-825-0517. And one of the stars of Grand Lake, the Duck Creek Fireworks Show on July 4th. The annual show will take place with thousands of spectators lining the shores of Grand Lake. Everyone will enjoy music, dancing, food, commercial vendors, as well as a warbird flyover. The Warbirds will be on the ramp for public viewing from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. prior to the Duck Creek Fireworks flyover. Fireworks will start at 9.30 p.m. Enjoy good food and good entertainment at the Cajun Festival July 4th at the Grove Civic Center. Also enjoy browsing through the Arts and Crafts booth. The Cajun Festival is hosted by Grove's Queen of Country Fiddle, Jana Jay, and Grand Lake Festivals Incorporated. Well, July 4th may be over, but the celebration continues at the Grand Lake Fireworks Show. The show will start at 9.30 p.m. between the spillways of the Disney Dam. Visit their Facebook page for more information. The show will continue, but first, here's some fun in the sun.
I'm RSU TV's General Manager, Royal Ailes. Now everyone complains that there's nothing to watch any longer on television, but I say there is. RSU TV brings you a unique look at our world every day from great chefs taking you on a tour of the world with their fantastic food. To turn your home into your favorite restaurant. To old time praise songs with classic gospel hosted by Bill Gates. <laughs> RSU TV is delivering the best in programming on television, and you can be a part of this. Become a member of RSU TV Signal Society. Your reoccurring gift of $10 a month will help RSU TV continue to bring great programs into your home. All you have to do is call 1-800-823-7210 or go online to rsu.tv and click the Donate button. And when you do, we'll ask you for your credit card or check card number, and every month, $10 will be automatically deducted from your account. This is the most important thing we can do to assure that there is a tomorrow for RSU TV. And when you become a Signal Society member, we'll give you this beautiful fleece blanket and this wonderful coffee mug, both with our logo on the side. As General Manager of RSU TV, I want to thank you for your continued support of this station, the programming we offer, and the changes we're making as we become engaged in our communities. You know, there would be no Grand Lake without the Grand River Dam Authority. This important organization ensures the safety of our lake. From water quality testing to a police force monitoring the lake, GRDA manages Grand Lake. Join us as we learn a little bit more about this important organization. As a result of that dam, uh, we've created a, a lake that's the Grand Lake of the Cherokees. It's approximately 60 miles north to south. It's a beautiful lake, a lot of great recreational opportunities. It's a great fishing lake. Uh, people enjoy all kinds of boating and, and skiing activities. Beautiful homes and a lot of development around the lake, golf courses and other things that people can do. So it, it's really created an economic engine. The building we're in today is our ecosystems building here in Langley next to our Pensacola Dam. That's where our water lab is. Uh, we continuously monitor uh, the water quality. We have profilers that will actually take a, a suite of uh, in-situ chemicals, uh, in-situ chemical measurements including temperature, pH, uh, blue-green algae, uh, cells per milliliter, and uh, also chlorophyll, which is the measure of how much algae is on the water. They've been out taking water samples, bringing those back to the lab, and then they'll work on analyzing those. Uh, we want to continue to maintain the water quality and to improve the water quality of Grand Lake. Uh, we recognize that that is the, you know, the oil and the economic engine, if you will, that has to be maintained in a way that people will want to come and continue to enjoy uh, outdoor activities. So we're very happy to have that kind of impact. We know it's continuing to grow. One of the other areas uh, that we're really uh, focusing on is uh, supporting uh, lake activities like fishing tournaments and other things that are becoming very popular. Uh, in fact, I think there's been some studies that, that indicate that bass fishing alone is becoming more popular than NASCAR and growing faster than, than that demographic. We partnered with the city of Grove uh, uh, to uh, construct the Wolf Creek facility. This particular facility that uh, we can park over 300 boats and trailers here, have six launch ramps, and it was the first phase. We're getting, we're getting ready to start phase two. It's one of the better facilities in the United States. Uh, as GRDA has grown, uh, so has uh, the different responsibilities. We've always been uh, responsible for maintaining the watershed. Uh, we are legislatively in charge of the water uh, as it forms the, the Grand Lake. Uh, 
we also have a law enforcement division. We have primary uh, responsibility on all of the waters that we control. So on Lake Hudson and, and Grand Lake, we are the primary law enforcement agency, including the property that we own around the lake. So we, uh, we have uh, quite the uh, uh, breadth of responsibilities and duties here. Uh, we have approximately 525 employees. Next year in 2015 will be the 75th anniversary of the completion of the dam and we look forward to celebrating that. Well, as you can see, GRDA is an important organization that ensures Grand Lake is here for everyone to enjoy. Please stay tuned. We have more coming up next. This week, I would like to talk about the maximum capacity for vessels. A commonly asked question that we have on the lakes and waterways is how many people can I have on my vessel? Well, this information is required by the Coast Guard to be on a plaque somewhere around the driver's seat. For example, this boat says 13 persons or 1,812 pounds. Any of this information we can find on that capacity plate, it also tells us the maximum horsepower of the vessel. So the next time you go out on the lake, take a look at your capacity plate, see what's legal for your vessel, make sure there's a life jacket for everybody on board, and have a safe trip. You know, Tad, lots of people come to the lake and have fun, and I bet they had no idea how much GRDA does behind the scenes to ensure our guests have a safe and exciting and fun play to play. That's right. They do a fantastic job. And then you have great places like Picture and Scripture Amphitheater as well for the family. So a wonderful time to come to Grand Lake, enjoy the lake, and do uh, a little entertainment at Picture and Scripture. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us. We hope you'll join us next week on Living Grand on Grand Lake. Living Grand on Grand Lake is made possible in part by the Grand Lake Association is in its 60th year promoting the Grand Lake region in partnership with the Oklahoma Department of Tourism. Located in Grove, the Grand Lake Visitor Center welcomes people from around the country and provides information on where to stay, shop, eat, area services, and activities around Grand Lake. The GLA also sponsors the Pelican Festival in September with crafts, a parade, and a carnival the Grand Lake Boat and Sports Show in March, and the Grand Lake Extravaganza, the world's largest bass tagged event. More information is available at GrandLakeFun.com. And by... The Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. GRDA's low-cost, reliable power touches 75 of 77 counties in Oklahoma. At no cost to taxpayers, GRDA also manages 70,000 surface acres of lakes in the state including Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and W.R. Hallway Reservoir. Today, GRDA's 500-member workforce continues to produce the same power for progress that has benefited the state for over 75 years. And by... You can experience the excitement. You can experience the fun. You can experience the freedom. Your adventure awaits. And by... There's no need to travel for quality health care. Integris Grove Hospital provides exceptional care close to home. From primary care to specialists like OBGYN, cardiology, orthopedics, urology, ophthalmology, and more. Integris Grove Hospital. Quality care close to home. And by viewers and members like you.